Emerson College in Los Angeles is the western extension of the Boston-based art school. It looks like a spaceship the school sent here to colonize Hollywood with students who come here to work and study right at the heart of the industry. The project was completed in 2014. It was designed by the LA-based Office of Morphosis, led by Pritzker laureate Tom Main. Unlike other Morphosis buildings, this one doesn't call out for immediate attention and it's a little hard to notice it as you drive down Sunset Boulevard. The building actually reads as a monolithic box. Only when you drive right by it you can actually see the unique forms framed within that box. It seems as if these shapes are flowing through the frame. This frame is composed of the base of the building that has a couple of restaurants on its northern facade facing Sunset Boulevard. That's the only facade to receive any retail front. On top of this base sits two slender residential towers. In these two towers are the school's dorms and they're housing about 200 students. The two towers are connected with a horizontal element that completes the frame. This mega beam wasn't part of the original design and was added to comply with local code to include a helipad in the project. The centerpiece of the building, the element or even multiple elements that are framed by the building itself, is this unique amorphic structure that flows through the building, the frame, onto the street. The centerpiece is made of these two snake-like curved volumes that contains the main functions of the school i.e. classrooms, seminar rooms, and offices. The centerpiece is connected to the frame on its base and through several bridges in different levels. The main entrance to the school is located on the building's corner, which is the corner of Gordon Street and Sunset Boulevard. It's made of this unique sculptured staircase that's somewhat an extension of the center form and pours down to the street. Climbing the stairs will take you to a balcony overlooking the Hollywood Hills and the famous Hollywood sign. Several gardens and balconies are created between the boxy residential towers and the unique forms in the centerpiece. These gardens and balconies are scattered around the building and varied in shape and form. These play a big role in the everyday life of the building. Uh, you see students and faculty using them constantly, and they're offering a great opportunity to enjoy California's great weather. The centerpiece and its elements are clearly morphosis in nature. It's pretty easy to identify it as one if you've ever seen a morphosis project. The project follows the morphosis design method. It's made of a few simple elements that act on each other to create a very complex form. In this case we see big meandering lines, small straight lines and big curved surfaces. These simple elements interact, intersect and merge with each other to create very complex forms. Unlike other Morphosis buildings, this complex form doesn't stand on its own. It has a reference within the project and this reference is the frame surrounding it. The frame is what makes it stand out and intensifies it by comparison. It also acts as a buffer between the main center form and the city around it and its grid. The use of the frame together with the amorphic forms creates these great in-between spaces. It very much reminded me the unbuilt Louis Kahn project of the Dominican Monastery. In both cases we can see the relationship between the hard frame and the free forms within it. Platonic shapes in the Louis Kahn project and big meandering lines and surfaces in the Morphosis project. In both projects the use of two different types of forms create great spaces between them. Another project you should check out is Cedric Price's Fun Palace. Price was part of the Archigram group that had a great effect on Morphosis and Tom Main. And like Price's fantastic project, the Emerson College building is its own microcosm of activities and spaces. In conclusion, I think the Emerson Building College in Los Angeles is a very interesting project. It's also a very unique Morphosis project. I encourage you to come by and take a look for yourself, 
and you can even take a tour in the building if you set it up in advance. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the building. Also, please share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon in the next Architects Mind video.